welcome to Cooking with Sakara. I'm Sakara, and today in Flavor Town, we're gonna be making a family favorite Roman apple cake. Fun fact apples are part of the rose family, as well as pears and plums. Now, before we start to make our very moist cake, we're gonna get a look at what ingredients we're gonna need. For this, I'll take off my glasses. We're gonna need one and a half cups of almond flour, one cup of sugar. A half cup of milk if you're choosing. But in this family, we use almond milk because we have lactose issues. In this little container, we have one half a teaspoon of salt, one whole teaspoon of baking soda, and a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. We have three apples off of trees. We have a cup of oil of your choosing. I chose to use vegetable oil. We also have one egg from a chicken. We have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. To make the cake topping, we're gonna need a few things. In this bowl, we have half a cup of brown sugar. In this one, we have one tablespoon of cinnamon sugar and two tablespoons of flour. And in this cup, we have two tablespoons of the butter of your choosing. But in this family, we use avocado butter because we have lactose issues. A few other things we're gonna need to make our cakes are a nine inch round pan, mixing bowls, a cutting board, Oven mitts, a whisk, a spatula, pan cooking spray, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and a apple cutting knife. An important step before you start your cake is to wash your hands. So we're gonna do that now. Make sure to use soap. The first step before we start making our cake is going to be to preheat the oven. First, locate an oven. Check inside. Make sure there's no cats or anything hanging out in there. And then we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now let that bake. That's gangsta. Now that we have all of our supplies, our hands are washed, and our oven is being preheated, it's gonna be time to cut the apples. We're gonna need to cut three apples. That's equivalent to two cups. Firstly, we're going to need to skin our apples, and then we will cut them into chunks, also known as cubes. Now I'm gonna move you guys a little bit closer so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. We're going to cut off the skin of our apples with our big apple cutting knife. I just cut a chunk off. Now that we have a skinned apple, we're going to cut it into cubes, and I'll show you how to do that. First, we're going to take the apple, cut down the sides. Cut down one side, we're going to cut off both sides, avoiding, avoiding the seeds of the apple, because we don't want those in our cake. So we'll cut, cut, and cut. So all we have is this cubed core. Don't know if you can see. We're going to throw this away. Consider it thrown away. Now, we're going to take these little chunks and make them in some more chunks. I'm gonna just continue to chop these apples, you know, as one does, because I've got the yield. This is what your cubed apples should look like. Now, I'm gonna do the other two apples off camera to save you guys some time. Now that our apples are cubed, we're gonna begin to make the batter. First, take your flour and put it in your large mixing bowl. Next, your sugar. And then you're going to take all of the powders, like the baking soda, baking powder, and salt that we put in this tiny, cute container. You're going to take your wicked whisk and whisk away until all of those white powders become one powder. Now that our powders are mixed, we're going to take our liquids. First, we'll start with the oil. Take 
need a spatula if you need to. Make sure you get all of the oil. We want our cake to be moist. After that, you'll take your milk if you choose it. You got soy, dairy, dairy-free. We're going with all of it. And you now need your one teaspoon of vanilla extract, being from a chicken. So we're gonna take the egg, tap, 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 and crack. Make sure to get no eggshell because nobody likes a cake that has eggshell in it, unless it is eggshell cake. Now we're going to mix. You can fold, you can whisk. It's really up to your choosing. Now that your batter's been mixed, it's time to take your apples and pour it into the batter for your Roman apple cake. Take your spatula and go ahead and nicely fold in those apples so they are coated in the batter. Yes, very nice folds. We're gonna go ahead and set the batter aside while we get our pan ready for action. We're gonna take our nine inch round pan and get a Pam non-stick cooking spray. spray so our Roman apple cake does not stick to a pan. Now I will demonstrate. I like to use a paper towel to smear it all around so it's not too greasy. Now that a nine inch round pan is completely greased, we can go ahead and pour in the batter into the pan. Make sure you're getting out all the batter that you can because you don't want to be wasteful. Go ahead and make sure your cake is smeared in all edges of the nine inch round pan. Once done, go ahead and let sit for a quick second while we get our topping all together. So, the first step to making our topping is going to be taking your two tablespoons of butter or butter substitute and putting it in the microwave for 30 seconds to melt it into a liquid. long because it may or may not have just exploded in my microwave but we will make do now that we have our melted butter substitute we're going to take our half a cup of brown sugar keep that in the big container and now we're going to mix in our two tablespoons of flour and one tablespoon of cinnamon sugar and now we will mix in the two tablespoons of butter substitute and now we will take our knife and stir that all around until it makes a crumble not a sauce a crumble now we're going to take our crumble and sprinkle it across the top of our cake so when it bakes it is nice and gooey and moist your cake should look a little bit something like this. And now we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. Go ahead, open your oven. Slide the cake right on in there. And then set a timer for 45 minutes. Perfect. I'll see you guys in 45. Do you hear that beep? That beep, that's gangsta. We're just going to uh, our oven mitts. Take a cake out and put it on a cake. I just want you guys to let this cool off before eating with your family. Family is important, especially during Thanksgiving. I would like to give a big shout out to my family for not getting mad at me for filming this at 10.39 p.m. when they are trying to sleep. That's gangsta. From our, our family, family to yours, happy, happy.
Happy Thanksgiving and welcome to Flavor Town.